Hallo und herzlich willkommen auf Epic. Wir sind hier auf der Shot Show 2020 am Stand von Otegear. Ähm, ich bin hier mit Zack und Zack wird uns heute mal die neuen Produkte von Otegear zeigen. Zack, nice to meet you. Pleasure, pleasure, thank you. So, let's go with the no pro no pro new products. It's, it has been late yesterday, so sorry for that. Yeah, welcome. Um, today I'm probably going to show you a couple of our new lines, some of our new pieces. Uh, one of the first things I'd like to talk about is our new range bag. This has been in development for the last 12 months. Um, we built this and designed this around uh, folding rifles, SBRs, uh, or if you had a long scale rifle in a 16 inch to be broken down in half. A couple of cool features with inside the bag. Our bag is built off a traditional tool bag, so it will open up in a square shape. That's what I thought. Yeah, the it's a time. beautiful idea. It gives you like a great shape to the bag. We run a metal rim around the inside. It's a hard base. We run three pockets. Each pocket can hold up to six magazines. That's 18 magazines inside of this bag alone. We run two big panels of Velcro, attach bags to that, patches, Morel patches. Um, my personal range bag can hold a ballistics helmet, a battle belt, my SBR, and everything I need for a day on the range. Um, we made this in multicam and we'll be dropping many colors throughout this year. Okay. Die Range Bag von Ottegear ist ganz neu, die ist im Design der typischen Toolbags von, äh, also Werkzeugtaschen, die es in Amerika gibt. Man hat hier quasi so eine Verstärkung drin, das heißt, wenn man die Tasche aufmacht, ist sie schön steif und bleibt halt auch auf. Also funktioniert perfekt als Range Bag. Wir haben aufgesetzte Taschen außen, innen sind nochmal zusätzliche Taschen, wo man bis zu 18 Magazinen unterbringen kann und nochmal eine Wand mit äh, Klett, um zusätzliche Ausrüstung unterbringen zu können. Also wirklich die perfekte Range Bag. Zack hat gerade gesagt, er bringt da seinen Helm unter, seinen Battle Belt und alles, was er sonst noch so braucht. Oh yeah, touch the rifle. Yeah, be careful. <laughs> okay. One of the big major differences with this bag versus a lot of other bags out there, this is a sub three pound bag unpacked. It's a? Sub three pounds, so it's a very, very lightweight bag. Three pounds? Yes. Okay. Also die Tasche ist leer, wiegt sie unter drei Pfund. Also sehr, sehr leicht. Im Vergleich zu anderen Range Bags. Good. So, next. One of the new pieces that we'll be releasing in our fall of 2021 is going to be our low-vis insulative line. Um, this particular piece that we're bringing out is going to have 80 grams of Primaloft gold. A really, gold. really, yes, really, really nice, great insulation, high breathable. This piece here is oversized in the shoulders, running an asymmetric cut through the waist, so very fitted, great movement in the upper body, and then every detail on the garment will be tonal. So our badge will be going tonal, all of our lining around our hood's gonna be tonal. Um, super lightweight piece that packs down incredibly small. Ich fasse es ganz, ganz kurz zusammen, weil wir haben noch ein paar Sachen mehr. Ähm, eine, eine Wärmeschicht, eine Isolierschichtjacke mit prima auf Goldfüllung, ähm, low profile geschnitten, trotzdem breit genug, um ähm, den Körper gut zu, zu packen. Ähm, ja. When will we be available? We're hoping to have this um, in uh, the American Fall season, so we're probably looking like September, October. Ja, September, Oktober verfügbar. Und weiter geht's. Let's move to the next pant. One of the biggest things that we've been striving to achieve to bring to the market is our brand new pants project. Um, the big thing that we've noticed within the industry is that most of the pants that the gentlemen wear in here scream tactical. So we wanted to bring something to the market that was more on the gray man side. Have all the features that have needed in a tactical pant, but without printing that obvious, I'm a tactical guy. Uh, one of the first pants I want to show you is our new slim pants. With our slim pant, this is a cotton pant which has a built-in nylon to it, so it has great stretch one way and great stretch the second way. Everything. Oh. So it looks like a Dickies or a workwear pant, but with a stretch. Correct. Very, very similar to a Dickies pant, but a lot more tailored. Yeah. Um, couple of cool features that we like to put on our pants. We do run hidden pockets. Very slim, lightweight. That way they don't print. So when you see them on the pant, they're very clean. All of our security pockets, our hidden pockets, are actually built inside of our pant and out of sight. So if you actually look inside the pocket, we run very, very lightweight zippers, clean. This is big enough to fit credit cards, wallet, um, small items. The one that is actually built into the thigh of the pant will hold a full-size phone or a passport. We also run those same zippers on the back of our pockets right here. They're all hidden. With the slim pant, one of the cool features that we brought into this when we brought it to a couple of guys in the industry, 
what happens if you needed to get any GTFO gear built into your pan. So on all of our pants, down on the lower leg of the inside, we built a little key pouch. So this is designed to put in like a handcuff key, uh, razor nice wire, uh, small amount of coin, yeah. everything you need. Ja, also die Otto Gear hat jetzt beschlossen, auch in, bei den äh, Hosen eine Greyman-Linie zu machen. Im Prinzip ganz einfache Hosen, die aussehen wie gewöhnliche Arbeitshosen, wie von Dicky, aber viel ähm, ja, schöner geschnitten im Prinzip. Wir haben jede Menge versteckte Taschen, ihr habt es gerade gesehen. Wir haben die, die seitlichen Taschen mit versteckten Zippern. Wir haben ganz unten im, im Knöchelbereich nochmal eine versteckte Tasche, wo man einen Handschellenschlüssel unterbringen kann oder was auch immer, was man braucht, um sich zu befreien. Also wirklich äh, sehr gut durchdacht. Okay. The next pan on our pan project is we wanted to create something that had a little bit more usability, uh, a few more pockets for the guy who wanted to carry a little bit more equipment with him, but also not to scream too much in that tactical round. This pan that we made is called the Cargo Light. Based off the same fabric as our Slim, this one is more of a traditional straight cut pan. It does run a thigh pocket. This pocket actually has a flat line zip. We flip over to the other side. It has an asymmetric cut in the knee, so the pant has a really nice bend to it and a really nice feel. Same with our slim pant down the bottom. We do run our traditional secret key pouch. But one of the really unique features that we built into our cargo light is our hidden pocket. Cool ways to show you this. Inside your left-hand side pocket, if you reach to the base of this, we have a built-in zipper. If you undo the zipper, there is a hidden pocket behind our thigh pouch. Best way to show you that, if I turn the pan inside, inside out. out, we open it up like this, you can see the hidden pocket right there. If you unzip on the inside of our pan, this will fall into a giant pocket down here. What we found out with a lot of our guys who do work in the counter-terrorism, as they are patting down, they usually only pat down the upper part of the pocket. This allows you to put something that's a little bit more secure, a little bit more safer way, if you would ever be frisked or pat down. Ja, das ist die Cargo Pen von Otto Gear. Die ist äh, ja, ähnlich zu der anderen, die wir eben gerade schon gesehen haben. Nur, dass hier jetzt halt noch zusätzlich natürlich diese aufgesetzten Taschen an den Oberschenkeln sind. Mit einer Flappe, mit einem Zipper. Ähm, auch wieder ganz unten die versteckte Tasche. Und hier als besonderes Feature hat man in der eigentlichen Hosentasche einen Durchgriff mit einem äh, Zipper. It's a hidden yeah. zipper. Very yeah. thin line hidden okay. zipper. Am Ende der Hosentasche ist ein Zipper, der im Prinzip dann die Tasche nochmal um ein ganzes Stück erweitert, um wirklich auch längere, größere Gegenstände oder welche, die mehr sicher untergebracht werden müssen, dort nochmal auf der Innenseite ähm, unterbringen zu können. Great. And this is a very light ride. Yes. And the last pan we put into our pan project is going to be our straight cargo pan. This is based off an everyday outdoorsman pant. Uh, we have two asymmetric pockets built into our thighs. This is made out of a ripstop Nikon. So it's a little bit more lightweight. We don't give you the same amount of stretch as you would get in our gray man style pants, as this pant is designed to be more of an outdoors pant. Yeah. Um, very similar to, let's say, the guys like Fjall Raven and the guys like Cool. We wanted a pant that had a... Just a lifestyle pant. Yes, a lifestyle outdoorsy utilitarian pant. Um, same thing, oversized pockets. Asymmetric cut on the knees, hidden pocket on the lower half. This is going to be a trademark to yeah. all of our pants. Um, another cool feature that goes across all of our pants, which I didn't mention on the last one, down the bottom of our pant, we have an option where you can actually split your pant. Ah, okay. The benefit with doing That's that, nice. if you ever to go down on a knee or go prone, your pant will rise. If you split this, this will allow that pant to stay open and fall back down and blouse over your boot yeah. or your shoe. Okay. Ja, das ist eine ganz normale Cargo Pen für den täglichen Gebrauch, EDC, Lifestyle, wie auch immer das nennen wollt. Äh, hat leichten Stretch, kein Nano-Stretch wie jetzt die andere, sondern das ist wirklich ja eine EDC Pen. Ähm, Cargo, Cargo Taschen, auch unten wieder die Taschen. Äh, can you take uh, the leg up? Besonderes Feature hier, beziehungsweise auch bei den anderen. Has both other pants there? Both sides. Yeah. And, and on across all of our pants, we give you okay. that option. Okay, alle Hosen haben wir, das haben wir eben noch vergessen zu erwähnen, alle Hosen haben hier unten nochmal ein vorgenähten Schlitz. Das heißt, wenn mir die Hose unten zu eng ist, weil ich oft Stiefel trage, kann ich hier einfach mit der Schere einschneiden, ohne dass, der, dass die Naht weiter aufgeht und habe dann hier quasi noch mal ein bisschen äh, Platz gewonnen. Ja. With this design though, we have bar tacked it around the edge. So the big thing that we wanted to do is make sure people weren't afraid. If they wanted to put a split in their pant, it's not going to suddenly unfray and crawl up the pant. It is designed to be cut. Okay. Yeah. Und last but not least, uh, neue, neue Aloha Hemden. Da müssen wir, glaube ich, nicht viel zu sagen. We don't have to say much about that. Right. Buy it. Buy it. Yes. It's really cool. Um, 
as you guys are probably aware, we brought out the Poppies of War. That was our last year's pattern. I'd like to show it right here on our 16-inch uh, SIG. Andrew Bewitterman, one of our good friends, uh, great artist, very visionary in the work that he does, decided to bring to the market a shirt based on the 40th anniversary of Apocalypse Now. Um, and though it's Aloha now. Yes, and as we're going to be calling it, Aloha Now. Um, we do it in two colorways. We do it in our traditional tiger stripe, and we also do it in Hawaiian blue. Small details, same as our poppies of war. If you look carefully inside a garment like this, Andrew has taken a lot of time to put a lot of detail. Little birds, Hueys, B-52s, F-5s, riverboats. The shirt is going to be made in Portugal. It is a super, super soft, supple cotton, and all of the buttons is 100% coconut. Yeah. Beautiful garment, any time of the year. Yeah. Wir haben euch ja das uh, Hawaii Hemd schon vorgestellt. Super geil. Uh, kaufen. Um, it will be available at. It Currently, our shirt is in pre-sale. It is available on the website www.odigear.com. Jump onto the pre-sale, sign up for that. The shirt should be shipping in the next two months. Genau. Könnt ihr schon kaufen. Back. Thank you very much for showing us all the things. Um, Odigear im Internet. Unten ist der Link eingeblendet. Wir gehen weiter. Macht's gut. Bye bye.